two speakers. Our first speaker just joined our club last month, and she's not even here, is she? No, she's not. Okay. Well, apparently she was so excited for that. Did you think she was going to do like a grand entrance? Okay, mark that down for Toastmaster. You didn't pay attention to if the speaker was here or not. All right. So our first speaker tonight has completed five speeches since joining our club. And tonight she'll be focusing on adding flair to her presentation through vocal variety. She chose her topic tonight because she's been hearing lots of conversations about success lately, but not very much about the journey to get there. The color green reminds Jenny of, duh. Money, 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 money. <laughs> According to Ancestry.com, she is 49% African American and 49% Irish. Woohoo! Let's party! <laughs> Even though she doesn't watch basketball, she loves March because all the snacks go on sale for March Madness. With her speech titled, Failing Forward, please give a 49% Irish welcome <laughs> to Jenny Edgington. Financial counselor. So I love helping people with their finances. I love 
helping them reach their goals, get to the next level. I was so excited about this job. My clients, they loved me, I loved them. I got so excited, so pumped up, until one day I came to work and my position had been eliminated. And when I tell you, I got absolutely sick. I'm still trying to take care of the clients. I'm still, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I need to write so-and-so, I need to channel so-and-so, I need to let them know. And they said, don't you worry, we'll take care of it. I was deflated, I was humiliated, I was, oh, I was so frustrated. However, and this is what John Maxwell's talking about. However, the beautiful thing that happened as a result of me getting laid off is that it opened up opportunities for me to teach financial literacy on a greater spectrum. I was able to teach at the Marysville Women's Prison. I was able to do workshops. I was able to do you know, seminars. I was able to go places and teach people. I was able to do one-on-one -on -one consultations. But I would not have been able to do that had I kept that job. My schedule wouldn't permit me to go all day and do a one-day workshop at a prison all day. And plus, there was conflict of interest. You do financial stuff at work, and then you're trying to do it outside of here. And it, it, it could have been real fuzzy. But I would have never got that opportunity had I not got laid off. That was, that was just great. So you have to see the benefit. You have to see the benefit in every bad situation, and you flip it, and you just turn it around. The second lesson is that when he talks about you have to you have to move past where you're currently at. You have to get over it. Get up, get over it, keep moving, keep moving. Just stay focused, keep it moving. I remember after I got laid off, I decided, okay, this is it, this is it. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna jump out, I'm gonna do something so extreme. I'm gonna step out of my element. I'm gonna step out of my shell. I'm gonna join the aerobics team, the swimming aerobics team. I'm gonna take a class. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take a class. I took this class. It was like eight weeks long. I was so excited. I was like, yes, I'm doing something really extreme. I'm doing water aerobics. You know, I'm not about uh, the Olympics. <laughs> you know, they're doing all this fun, fancy stuff. And I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I get there, and it was all senior citizens. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I can't do this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This is, I don't roll like that. I'm, I'm trying to be cool, okay? I'm trying to do all this, and I can. If you're going to put me with the senior citizens, really? <laughs> but guess what? I decided I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick with the elderly. I'm going to hang out with them, and they end up inspiring me. See, there's the whole get to versus got to. They were mandated to do it because they needed like sort of like physical therapy. But I chose to go to that class. And just a matter of changing my mindset of why I was there and what my goal was, what my mission was, I was trying to do something different. I was trying to exert energy. I was trying to get exercise. I was hanging out with the old people. <laughs> and they taught me some stuff because this class was three weeks, I mean, three classes per week for eight weeks. And I mean, the grannies were jamming. I was like, oh gosh, I'm out of breath. I can't breathe. And then they're just swimming and doing all their stuff. And I was like, okay, but you can learn. You can learn from it. Then finally, John Maxwell says, you've got to get over it. Whatever the situation was, whatever it was that, you know, slammed you, get up. You can't allow it to, to paralyze you. Fear paralyzes us. We get stuck. We get upset. We get frustrated. You experience a failure, you're not a failure. You simply failed at something. There's a difference. Don't get it twisted. You failed at a particular thing. A situation happened that slammed you. But you get up and you keep on going. And I kept on going and I just kept on going and I was doing all my stuff and I just thought, Jenny, <laughs> you know what? You're going to be just fine. And I look at myself and I look at where I've come from and I look at all I've been through. It's another great day to be me. I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy I have a chance to make a difference. I'm happy that I have a chance to impact somebody's life, to sprinkle some love, some magic on them, and get them to their next level. So I'm hopeful that tonight you guys will remember to see the benefit. 
see the benefit in every bad situation. I hope that you will move forward, that you will get up, get over it, and keep on going. And I'm, I'm just hopeful that through all of this, that we'll be able to make a difference just with our perspective. We have a new perspective. The glass is half full, not half empty. It's just a matter of changing your paradigm, just change your lenses. And that's what I hope we've achieved here today. So thank you very much.